If you're a regular antique shopper and go to the pier shows, the stellar shows in New York at the Armory, you're sure to have met or have seen our guest today. Michelle Fox is a fabric dealer and she deals in antique textiles and you've been actually selling beautiful ticking for many years. How many years altogether? About 20 altogether. I remember when my daughter was doing her first little cottage, she brought all her ticking from you. I remember too. Beautiful. Too. And she has yeah. it all and I'm so glad because it's very beautiful. It's a heavy fabric. It's a twill weave woven very tightly. So Usually of cotton? Of cotton or linen and in stripes, always in stripes. So it was used for mattresses, pillows? It was used for feather ticks, which this is a ex fine example of a feather tick. A feather uh, tick? Yes, it's as opposed to a mattress, this goes on top of the mattress? It was as the mattress or used as a duvet, either top or bottom. Oh, because it's pretty heavy. It's though. pretty heavy, yes. Yeah. This is this is quilted. It has channel quilting. A lot of times feather ticks just were filled with feathers and had so no red quilting. red on one side? And blue on the other. Yeah, beautiful. Now, why are you calling that blue? Because of that one blue stripe? Because of the one blue, oh, yes. I it's see. pretty much classified by the blue. Blue is the most common color in ticking, blue and white. These are all variations of the standard blue and white striped ticking. We also have some beautiful pale blues, which are wonderful and nautical. And then your beautiful pale green.